the thinking behind the exhibition is recording the tr a truthful reality of this landscape I live in. I'm creating work that is observed, it is what I see in the landscape and um, the Monk's Cross site is very much part of my upbringing. As children we used to take the ponies on there and we'd also go and pick strawberries. But over time I noticed the land changing and not being as prosperous. That's what fascinated me. How we view the landscape, how we analyse it and how we process it. And it's the process that I was fascinated with at the beginning, um, from strawberries through to a different commercial viability. And those are the questions I'm looking at in the landscape. This is my workstation. This is where the production happens. When I come in here, I remember what I've sketched, drawn and observed. And then those things I remember then go into the plates. And then just flick it like that. And then fold it in half. And flick. And then make sure that they hang down so that the blankets hang out straight. And then here is my registration block. And all these lines indicate all the plate sizes I'm working with. So I'm tearing the paper to create a decal edge. And then that goes into soak. I just take, lift a bit. I don't take it all, just enough on the roller. And then I roll it. One way. I'm constantly looking for any lumps that might be in the ink because it, it does skin over. And I have to do the ink really thin so it doesn't go into the fine cuts. And I rotate the plate round, feeling whether the ink is soft enough to go into the really fine edge. It's really fine, so I've got to be constantly aware of scratching the plate, even with the cardboard. Because I want to get a more mottled effect in the work, I'm inking up with a scraper. And what most artists would do is then polish it back using yellow pages. But I don't, I mean, leaving the texture in the plate. So I'm registering into one of the corners. You've got to be precise. Yep, that'll do. So now I just got this. And this is crucial to get this right. It's crucial I get this right as well. Oh, I suppose. And then 
I do one blanket at a time, making sure that they're flat. And these are pressed blankets, not woven. So I'm releasing the pressure on this one. And I just keep a constant turn. Whatever, we, whatever you do, you don't stop. To keep it consistent. I'm watching the blankets to see if they don't get trapped. I'm keeping the paper trapped so I don't lose the registration. I've got to do this really slowly because I'm going to register the plate next for the next plate. So I'll just leave that like that. So what I'm doing is putting the block right against crucial I do not move that plate. If I move the plate, I'm done for. You'll just get a, a double yeah. registration. It won't match with the, print, the image on the plate, at the first plate. But secondly, you'll get um, a rough edge. The concern I have with this plate is the amount of ink I've left on. Because I'm not using a traditional printing inking technique, I'm leaving a lot of ink on and the paper can stick and then I have to scrape it off. So it is a risk. So here in particular that could stick but it's worth seeing how it comes out because I quite like that mark there. So what I look for now is to meet those two corners just to double check. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And I'll put those down. This is supposedly the best bit. This is the boring bit. <laughs> Right, here we go. Tell me if I'm going too fast for a bit. So I'm doing it really slowly, so A, I don't lift the plate, and B, it doesn't hopefully stick. That's looking good. Yeah, the registration's good. It's very easy to use your brain to say that there's a line there and another line there, but you have to, I look at it and think, look at the light and describe it the way the light is describing it, not how I think it's, it is being described. And it's those details that place that work in a point of time. I never thought I'd see farmland change so quickly. Even though the building's still there, I still see them as fields. I can't say that again. <laughs> oh.